So if you're new to computer building, I want to go through a few things that you need to be aware of kind of before class. So when we actually have class, you'll know the individual parts. So this is referred to as a motherboard. This is what connects all the parts of the computer together. Your power supply is going to come down and connect here and here. This part's going to stick out the back of your case. You're going to have a, what's called an IO shield that's going to cover that. And this fits in the case. And this is where you can connect uh, graphics cards or other devices. And these are all called expansion slots down here for that. Up here is your CPU socket. This is where the CPU sits. It, has, it will typically close. And you're going to put some form of thermal paste on that. Thermal paste comes in tubes like that and that, and it's gray. And you cover it, and then you'll put a CPU fan on it. The thermal paste job is to make sure this display this displaces heat very well. Now, the two CPU makers you need to be aware of are Intel, and they make flat CPUs, and AMD, and they make um, CPUs with pins. The important thing to know is when we're buying CPUs, if you're going to do a custom build computer, you want to buy some Intel CPUs that are core, not Celeron or Pentium. Those are substandard. And you don't want to buy an AMD that's a Simpron. You want to buy only a Ryzen. All right. So that's your two CPUs. Now, to, to store your data, you're going to have hard drives. And there's a whole series of hard drives we'll go over in class. But just know that you know, these are all called SATA, and you can see how they have the connectors. So on the left, that's where the power goes in. On the right, that's where the, it's going to connect to the motherboard. And truth be told, these are SATA ports right here. And as you can see, they're absolutely the same. To add a second hard drive to a computer is as simple as um, just adding another SATA port. Make sure it's got power. The two types of hard drives you need to be aware of is this is your traditional magnetic hard drive. These are cheap. They're very fragile, very slow. These are SSDs and they're much, much faster. They have no moving parts. They're a lot more robust as well. So these are what I traditionally recommend, <clears throat> at least a little bit, some combination of the two. Now, along with your CPU, you're also going to need to have memory. Memory fits in on a motherboard um, like so. You just kind of get the pins out of the way and then you just kind of push, put it in the slot push down that's how your memory is going to go we'll go over all the different types of aspect uh, all the different aspects of memory in class but just know this is where memory is going to sit and memory's job is to help make the cpu run a little bit faster and to get the the ideal gaming computer you want a decent cpu fair amount of memory and like some type of solid state drive and a decent graphics card and that's what makes the the computer capable of playing games at a really good fps now, if you're looking to get into streaming, you may want to get something like an HD60. This is a, a streaming capture card. You go from the GPU HDMI out, you put it in here. This would go on a second computer, and you could just capture anything from like a Xbox or PlayStation or just anything that has HDMI, um, and you could just capture it and then stream it through that. The last thing we're going to wrap up here with, and of course, you can get thermal paste in these big tubes if you really want to, is the two different... Um, GPU or video card makers. It's graphical processing unit. This is uh, NVIDIA and NVIDIA makes the GTX 970 and everything else. And then AMD has their own line. So this is an AMD Radeon RX 470. Um, so these are just the two um, GPU makers that are out right now. So you've got NVIDIA and AMD and they have a whole line of products and these can get quite pricey but we're going to go over strategies in class to help you mitigate that. So that's basically all you need to know before class. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to type it in uh, out school and we'll cover it in class. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching.